Okay, next Selangor set B, paper 2, number 7. The first question is proven question. So, as I said, modify the most complicated side. So, here you can see the left-hand side is more complicated compared to the right-hand side. So, let's modify this side. Okay, so you can see here we have basic equal function sine, sine. But this one, okay, secant. So, secant ni, kan, dia punya tips dia tukar pergi yang basic dulu. Okay, so secant tu kau pergi cos. Sama kita boleh nampak on the right, kita ada tangent. Which is tangent tu, dia sebenarnya adalah sine of cos. So secant tu kau pergi uh, 1 over cos. So secant tu kau 1 over, uh, jadi tu uh, 1 over cos lah. Okay, so saya saya dulu. Okay, dia sebenarnya divide lah. Okay, saya tulis ni, divide. Okay, Tak nak bagi confuse, saya guna Sini ni Okay So, sari-sari ni tu X minus 1 Right, bracket Sika ni tu, saya tukar jadi 1 over cos Okay So, this one actually Okay So, kita Simplify Divide jadi times Okay, so this one sebenarnya uh, This one Kita boleh tulis macam ni lah Dia sebenarnya over cos x So bila dia Repressive local terbalik cos x dekat atas lah. Over Kita boleh tulis macam ni hmm. So actually this one is over 1 So kita Boleh tulis dia sebagai 2 sin x Cos x over 2 sin x minus 1 and then 2 sin x cos x kita boleh bagi jadi sin 2 x sebab kita tahu ok on the right kita ada double angle so kita kena tukar bagi double angle lah so kita jadi sin 2 x ok alright so yang di bawah ni disebabkan ok yang di bawah itu Sebabkan sin ni, ni negatif 1, dia positif 1. Kalau kita nak terus tukar cos 2x, tak boleh. So, kita kena negatif kan dia positif 2 sin square x. Dia sebenarnya nak negatif 2 sin square x, right? So, kita kena negatif kan dia. So, kita negatif kan dia dulu. Supaya dalam bracket nanti kita dapat um, sama macam ini. So, dalam bracket sekarang, saya boleh tulis sebabkan negative 2 sin square x ok, because negative, negative dia akan jadi positif positif 2 sin square x ok ok, and then di sini plus 1 lah supaya right, bila negative, positif dia jadi negative, so sama dah macam yang atas ni all this, kalau kita expand kita dapat Jadi macam ni. Okay. okay. So, kita akan dapat macam ni. Sin 2x over negative. This one adalah cos 2x. Cos 2x. So, this one is equal to negative tangent 2x. Okay, done. Okay, for B1. Uh, hands sketch. Okay, once you have the word hands, meanings you need to use information in question A to answer B1 question. Okay, you have this word hands, right? So, uh, hands sketch the graph. Okay, so this graph. So, bila keluar macam ni. Jadi, tengok soalan A tu sini. Then, compare. So, this one, all this... Is actually equals to this, where is equals to negative tangent to x. So meaning you need to sketch the graph negative tangent to x from zero until pi. Do not sampai pi. So you can faham. So there are two two cycle in pi, right? So because this is tangent graph, ah. Huh? So untuk sketch. 
pertama you kena tahu dia punya S for shape so, to sketch okay first you must know the, the shape of the graph so tangent graph dia punya shape dia okay um, dia macam ni eh macam tu lah tangent graph dia ada asymptote okay and there are two cycle here in pi right so kita sketch dulu okay you must use ruler okay so saya tak guna ruler you guna ruler lah okay and then draw the asymptote okay tangent graph so always start from zero okay never touch the asymptote one cycle another one cycle and then stop okay stop Okay, and then babai dekat siapa? Dekat pi. So, tangent dia babai dekat pi. Sign and cos babai dekat tu pi. Okay. So, range angle dia nak sampai pi. So, kita tak perlu nak rub apa-apa. But then, kita belum habis. Why? Because kita ada kat sana. Here, negative. Negative meanings reflection. Reflection meanings this part, this graph, dia akan pergi ke bawah. Reflect lah. So, you boleh rub yang ni. Okay, next. This one, dia pergi naik atas. Dia reflect, okay? Okay, this one, dia turun bawah, okay? So, dia start dari sini ya, dia reflect, dia pergi bawah. Macam tu. Okay, this one can rub. And the last one, this one, dia start dari sini. So, dia reflect. Okay. Lepas tu. Okay, then... Allah. Okay, this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis lah. Negative tangent to x. Alright. So, uh, maximum minimum. Okay, kita label je lah. Uh, let's say I letak sini 1. Here, negative 1. So, can. Okay, done. Next, dia kata determine the value of p where p is a constant such that the number of solution for this equation is not 2 so kita dah belajar what is um, the meaning of number of uh, solution here meaning uh, kalau you lukis satu lagi line dekat sini i mean one more graph okay if you draw one more graph here okay Let's use green color for the tangent graph if you draw one more graph here, in the same, okay, kat the same plane, kita akan dapat two intersection point where the number of intersection point represent the number of solution for the graph, for the given equation. So, sekarang ni kita nampak bahawa, sama je, step dia, okay. So, this is the given equation where you need to solve. Okay. Equals to P, where this one, okay, is actually negative tangent to X. Okay, to solve this equation, we need to draw graph. This graph, okay, where we drawn this one lah. We have already drawn it, okay. And one more graph you need to draw is this. But make sure, okay, when you draw this graph, Y equals P, so, y equals negative tangent to x. Done, ah. This one. Done. We have already drawn it. One more graph you need to draw is y equals to p. Okay, if you draw the line y equals to p, normally the line is a is a line which is parallel to the x-axis. And then, dia kata kat sini, uh, the number of solution for the equation is not 2. Okay, so you cubalah letak, uh, draw any uh, line supaya nanti you tak dapat... Uh, to mm, intersection point. So, kalau you letak dekat sini line, there are two intersection point. One, one here, another one here, right? Sini satu, sini satu. Betul. So, tak boleh lah. So, maknanya bukan kat situ. Sebab dia kata it's not two. The number of solution is not two. Dekat sini you dapat two solution, here two solution, here two solution, right? Here two solution. But then, haa, Exactly on the x axis, you akan dapat how many solution dah? Okay, okay. I guna what color? Nah, this color. How many solution? 
3 solution right ha, ok so maknanya kat sini satu tadi kat sini satu kat sini satu bila kita lukis line ni right so this line is actually y equals to 0 the line y equals to 0 so meaning p equals to 0 so that if you draw the line p equals to 0 the numbers of solution is not 2 which is you get how many solution 3 solution or 3 uh, intersection point ok kalau you lukis dekat tempat lain contoh kat sini ke kat sini ke sini ke semua you dapat 2 solution right except here uh, tu maksud dia right so answer p equals 0 done